Okay, so I have my flight plan entered. Now I want to predict if I'm going to have rain. Now this is a 430 WAS, so I don't necessarily have to do a rain prediction because it does have WAS. However, to do a rain prediction, if this wasn't a WAS or if I just wanted to check to make sure, what I'm going to do is you notice I'm on the nav chapter. So I'm going to take the outer knob and I'm going to go to the auxiliary chapter. And then I'm going to rotate that with the inner knob to page two right there of the auxiliary chapter and you'll see it says rain prediction. Now I'm going to push the cursor in, roll to rain prediction, hit enter, and it says, hey, you're going to Reno and it bases, based off the flight plan, it looks at what my, when you're going to be there based off arrival date and time, right? So right now, we're at 16 April. Well, I know I'm going to be leaving. I'm, it's going to take me, let's say it's going to take me two hours. Well, this is the current time, so I want to know what it's going to be when I get there. 825. So at Reno, is rain going to be available when I arrive at 18 or 625? 1825. I roll this over. Compute rain. Enter. It's checking. And it says, hey, I'll have rain availability. To leave this menu, you just simply hit push your cursor button. It takes you back to here. And then you hit the cursor button again. And then now you have control of this again. Let's say we're flying along and you want to figure out, hey, what's my density altitude, true airspeed, winds, that kind of thing. Well, I can come to page one right here on the aux page, hit my cursor, roll down the density altitude, true airspeed, winds, enter. And then now I will enter in all this data based off of what I'm currently at. So I'll look at my altimeter and I'm going to enter my indicated altimeter. I'll look at my airspeed indicator and then I'm going to enter my what's displayed on my airspeed indicator. Now realize this is a knot, so you have to use the inner ring of the airspeed indicator to get knots. So we're gonna enter what's on my airspeed indicator. We'll enter my altimeter setting. Oops, you have to hit enter after you, well, I'll screw that up. Enter. So we enter the airspeed indicator and then hit enter for it to take it. Then it goes to here, enter the, uh, the altimeter setting and then hit enter, and we'll go to the next one, outside outside air temperature, and my current indicated heading off my HSI. I enter all that, and it's going to tell me your density altitude is this, your true airspeed is that, and here's your winds right here. Okay? If I want to know about my fuel planning or my trip planning, I can simply go into these menus, and then I can enter in what my fuel flow is, and it'll fill in the rest. I can enter my fuel on board, my fuel flow, okay, and then it will fill in our ground speed and it'll tell me how much fuel I'm going to arrive with, my endurance, my reserves, uh, fuel on landing fuel on board required, etc. It'll fill all that in. Same way with trip planning, if I want to know when I'm going to arrive in time, I can come onto this page, put in my departure time, put in my ground speed, or if I'm currently flying, it will have it from present position and present time and it will have my ground speed filled and it will give me my arrival time.